Start game now. Welcome, retro fans. You know, me and Kevin Aloxley here, we're having a discussion about bugs we hate, and we both agree that we hate centipedes, but not the video game. And today we're going to look at the Atari 7800 version of Centipede. Looking at the box art, very similar to the 2600 box art. We got the smiling centipede with the yellow stripe down his back. Looks like a segment is missing there. And he's got these hands out like he's going to go hug somebody. Got a little spider perched there on a mushroom. And the dwarf dude is back with his little pencil wand ready for some action. Let's go ahead and pop the 7800 version of Centipede and just see how well this version holds up today. Let's go to the game. Officially speaking, Centipede came out in 1986, but it might have been out in 1984 from Atari for the 7800 when they test marketed the system in Southern California. It is a fixed screen shooter for one or two players, and it's based on the 1980 Atari arcade hit of the same name. Now, according to the manual, you're just some random guy stuck in an enchanted mushroom forest being attacked by bugs with a wand you found on accident as your only weapon. It's possible you're still Oliver the Elf, who was from the 2600 version, since the box art is also uh, very similar to this game, however that is not clear. There's four difficulties in this game, Novice, Standard, Advanced, and Expert. You can actually play two players at the same time in this game. In team play, you get to work together, and in the, in the competition mode, you can actually paralyze the other player by shooting them. Now, the centipede is your main enemy, and is comprised of many segments. When they become separated, they become individual head segments, and if the centipede reaches the bottom, an extra head is added. When defeated, a new centipede emerges, but each time an extra segment is loose from his body and goes by itself, making him more difficult to defeat. There's also a spider that jumps around the bottom of the screen, and if you're like me, he'll probably get you more than the centipede, and a flea that drops straight down, leaving a trail of mushrooms behind him. There's also a scorpion that goes across the screen, creating poisonous mushrooms. Now, if the centipede touches a poisonous mushroom, instead of going back and forth, he will go straight down to the bottom of the screen, so you'll want to take care of those as quick as you can. Your joystick moves you freely around across the bottom quarter of the screen. Either button of the controller is used to fire. You can also use a compatible trackball if you have one. This was originally a trackball game. I used the Sega Sports uh, Pad for part of this review, and I found it more enjoyable even though it didn't really do much to improve my score. Now the Sega Sports Pad may not be the best trackball out there, but I still had a good time with it. Scoring wise, it's pretty similar to the 2600 version. If you shoot a, a regular body segment of the centipede, you'll get 10 points. If you shoot his head, you will get 100 points. The spider will get you either 900, 600, or 300 points, depending on how close he is when you shoot him. The closer you get, the uh, more points you'll get. And the flea is worth 200 points, and the scorpion is worth 1,000. And if you get to 12,000 points, you will get a bonus wand. Graphically speaking, while this is not arcade perfect, it's pretty close and looks a lot better than the 2600 version. The music and sound is also an improvement in my opinion as well, even though the 2600 has a certain charm to it that I also like. And this is a family friendly game. On eBay it's pretty affordable, loose copies were going for $5 to $6 loose. Uh, complete in box copies were about $10, and new copies went anywhere from $10 to $15, and as, as always, that includes shipping. So, would I recommend Centipede for your Atari 7800? I would say, yes, I think it's actually the best home version that I've ever played. And it's even better if you can find a second player, but I rarely have that luxury, so even uh, as a single player, and whether I played with a controller or a trackball, I still had a good time. So no matter which way you slice it, I think this is actually a very, very solid game that most Atari 7800 owners should own, even if you have the 2600 version. Unlike Asteroids, I think Centipede on the 7800 is clearly above its 2600 brethren. So where am I going to rank it? Well, right now my top two games are Ninja Golf and one-on-one -on -one basketball. Both are great games, very, very enjoyable, and I would rather play a round of ninja golf, but you know what? I think I'd rather shoot some centipedes and play a game of one-on-one, -on -one. and that's not saying anything bad about one-on-one -on -one basketball. It's a solid game, so centipede is going to be my new number two game. Hey, if you want to hear about this and other Atari 7800 games, be sure to check me out 
on the Atari 7800 Game by Game podcast, now available on iTunes. Episode 2 contains both Asteroids and Centipede. Future episodes will contain future games as well. Don't forget, if you enjoy videos like this, please click that like button and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. You can also follow me on the Facebook or the Twitter. Go to either one, search for The No Swear Gamer. And as always, feel free to share this video on your social media site of choice. And be sure to check out all my old episodes. There's over 100 of them. There's sure to be something that you will enjoy. Thank you guys for giving me a little part of your day. I totally appreciate it. And I totally look forward to seeing you on the next episode of The no swear gamer take care everybody and if you find any wands in the forest be sure to look out for giant bugs right behind your back take care